Hi all, welcome to our channel. Today I'm going to show you beautiful Churiala art step by step with freehand drawing. Yeah, now um, I'm doing on A4 uh, like uh, A4 canvas. So before that, we'll take A4 paper and fold it into four folds and then fold it into half. The, in the first folding, we'll mark a nose. We'll draw a nose first. Yeah see it yeah this is the first four folding and we have done a nose over here yes now this is the nose pin now draw a small curve on the line which we have already done and lips again yeah and all uh, the uh, the curve and the lips and the chin should come like you know on the first folding and draw a chin and then the neckline you have to keep a dot between the first folding and the second folding and draw the lines and you start drawing an eye and I should end up to second folding just go just uh, be careful while doing this then draw an eyebrow and after that just just uh, besides the first folding it had to put a dot just inside that and draw a line like the forehead and see this is the half and near the half I'm going to draw a circle it's like a earring big earring and one more yeah this is the earring and the shoulders are done now the head part and the bun yeah done now the head part is done and we'll draw a bun yes and these lines for gajra okay and a small bindi over there and this is a necklace for jewelry part yeah now outline is done instead of the uh, tracing try to do uh, like freehand drawing with the hand yeah this i have like you know we have done a uh, outline on a4 paper and then have traced on canvas right with yellow carbon now we'll mix mold it as you all know mold it will have resin and uh, hardener just mix both and make it a small ball and with the help of talcum powder just roll it on and uh, make it a small base a round base make it a small ball and with the help of talcum powder we'll do a small round base now the base is ready now stick that part with the fevicol like apply fevicol or fabric glue and then stick that part and even the down part make like uh, bigger than that make a base apply a uh, glue and then just stick that here you can overlap uh, this uh, base on the first mold it like you know first circle which we have already done now earring part is done we'll come to the jewelry part make small ball and keep a hole like this with a pen or a pencil and we'll stick it in the center of earring done yes now we'll move on to jewelry the necklace part i have made a coil and i've uh, like you know i've checked the size with the help of talcum powder so that the mold it may not stick to your hand just roll it on like this with the brush or the finger just press it like this and make it uh, very broad so that we can stick it on that area which we have done on the sheet now apply glue and then stick the molded part and adjust with the fingers and wherever is extra please take paper cutter and try to give a neat finishing cut the excess part like this and adjust with the fingers okay 
see in the same way do the like you know jewelry part the dollar and one more chain besides that we are going to stick even that and one more bond yeah yes now done and for this chain apply glue again and then stick it the excess part you can cut it with a paper cutter and just adjust with the fingers Now uh, near the top right hand side we will draw like you know leaves now randomly we will uh, give a line with the pen or pencil now dip your brush in green color light green and draw uh, these curves like this the bottom should be broad and uh, like you know while you are going giving strokes upwards that should be very uh, like sharp yeah now uh, the rest of the area you will be filling with sap green first we have done with light green and next we are we are filling that background area with sap green Yeah, this is light green again. Just give strokes like this as I'm showing now. For all the leaves will do together. Yeah, once done with light green, we will fill with uh, like in you know, a background with sap green. Yeah, after filling with sap green, we'll take triple zero brush and we'll dip the brush in black color and then we'll give a line or we, you can also do with the same brush. Okay, now we are going to merge the black like uh, shade so that you dip the brush in uh, water and clean your brush and then uh, try to merge black color into sap green and later on. Now you dip the brush in uh, lemon yellow and give strokes on the light green, okay? Light green lines and after that dip the same brush in white color and randomly give strokes like this near uh, light green and yellow shade. Wherever light green and yellow shades are there, you just give strokes with white. Okay, no need to clean the brush, just dip the brush in white and give strokes and after that Clean your brush properly. Now clean your brush properly and give outline with black as I am showing you now. Yeah, now flowers are done. Just give one more outline with black. Now we will color the background with red. Now color the whole background with red. You take white brush and then try so that we will we can finish uh, coloring background as soon as possible. You have to use white brush and then 
you color it and be careful near the leaves which we have uh, already done now wherever like you know thin brush is required you just uh, give an outline with the triple zero brush or zero brush and try to fill the remaining part with flat brush now take a palette add little bit of like you know take a little bit of white and a pinch of brown to get a, a skin shade okay yeah now we got a skin shade if you need like you know a darker shade you just uh, add a pinch of brown to it now color the face properly and just be careful near the nose and chin neck yeah now it's done we may not color lips because we are going to anyhow we are going to color with red now the face part the coloring part is done now dip the brush in burnt sienna it's brown color and give an outline on the forehead and under the eye and above the eye and near the chin and neck neck part yeah all this like you know and few strokes near the eyeshadows okay now dip the brush in water and try to merge it like this you have to do it very fast because if the like color dries we may not able to merge it so while you are doing just switch off the fans and eases and everything and then you try to dip the brush in water and try to merge the color right see how it's looking after merging and merge near the chin neck part and yeah dip the brush in water and try to merge You can also use a white brush for merging because the area near the neck part is little big. Yeah, now take red color and add a pinch of black to it so that it turns into maroon shade and give a line, a wide broad line just besides the forehead, nose, lips, yeah, even the neck part and shoulder so that it looks like a shadow like this you need to give like you know being draw like this give a coloring and just be careful near the nose lips and chin part now you have to do this very fast because we have to merge this maroon shade into red like you know near red background which we have already done so you have to do it fast if the color is wet there is a chance of merging right so once the if the color gets right we may not able to merge so try to merge like uh, with a flat brush dip the brush in water and try to merge here yeah, merging is done now take a white 3d outliner and randomly you keep dots on the background and later you take 3d outliner gold 3d outliner it's pearl metallic gold 3d outliner and then you just give keep a dots like flowers and you can also change the design here the nose pin just given outline like you know line with black and then 
Besides that, give a line with gold 3D outliner and keep few dots with white. Okay, now the background is done. Now take white color and add a pinch of black to it so that it turns into gray shade and color the gajra part just besides like you know uh, above the bun yeah now it is done with gray shade just merge it properly color it properly now the hair part you just color with black and be careful while doing it color the whole, uh, whole hair and bun with black we have colored hair and bun with black and give an outline with 3d uh, like uh, with triple zero brush give an outline for the forehead nose and just give a curve near the nose and draw a circle as a nose pin like this and for the lips give a proper outline for the lips chain and the whole like give a outline for the lips also yeah now what you will do you have to clean the brush and dip your brush in red color and try to fill uh, the lips with red and while doing it you have uh, when you come to the corners of the lips just merge with black we have already done with the black outline right already that uh, black outline will be wet so don't touch your brush uh, like you know in middle of the lips so that the like the border part of the lips will be in maroon shade and the center part will be in red okay then carry on with the black outline for the chin and near the neck part and even the shoulder right now dip the brush in black color and try to give nice shape for the eyes just draw a u uh, for the, uh, like you know starting and then give a border and finish of the eye eyebrows and keep a dot just uh, above the eyebrow with red shade and draw a bindi with red and give an outline with black now apply glue for the mangtika and then i am sticking few beads now this is the easy process apply glue and then you place the chain over there and the starting point like you know those beads you have to hold it with the finger and then slowly you remove the thread okay within few seconds we can fix number and number of beads now color the molded part the jewelry part with gold okay first give an uh, layer of uh, yellow then first you have to color with yellow shade and then after that you give a coat with pearl metallic gold see this is yellow it may be lemon yellow or deep yellow or any yellow you can color the jewelry with yellow first and then after drying you can give one more coat with pearl metallic gold meanwhile what you will do take 3d outliner and wherever ash color we have done for gajra just in a dapping technique you give keep dots so that it looks naturally and near the bun we will decorate with motis now i'm giving one more coat of gold on the jewelry part and have stick motis and kundans you can change the design you can fig like you know stick any kundans of your choice yeah we are going to decorate jewelry part now yeah now randomly like you know we'll draw lines with pen or pencil and i'm filling the sari with purple color if you don't have purple color just add red and blue so that you'll get a purple shade now the border of the sari i'm coloring with deep yellow now take purple shade uh, number like uh, the color number is 65 in sunflower kit we'll get yeah uh, like we'll color that shade with 
the near the blouse part after coloring blouse part we will give an yeah in that same purple shade uh, the pink shade which i am talking about for the blouse you add little bit of white so that it becomes a lighter shade and give strokes on sari like this and after giving strokes you have to be very like you know very fast after giving these strokes dip the brush in water and try to merge it i'll, I'll be showing you yeah. dip the brush in water and try to merge it to the ends okay only the sides sides of the color as i'm showing you now yeah we have merged now give an outline for the border wherever uh, we see like you know yellow border give a black outline yeah like back side of the brush you did that uh, brush in the pink color and try to keep this dots yeah now done with the dots and give an uh, outline with black and fill the border like wherever we have filled with yellow shade just fill that border with black like draw lines black lines with that and wherever we have done with uh, like you know we have filled with pink or purple shade just take a 3d outliner white 3d outliner and you keep dots like this you can also change the design yeah this is a white 3d outliner done yeah now start decorating uh, the jewelry part it's up to you how you want to decorate you can for decorating i have used kundans 3d outliners and beads and whatever you have you can go ahead now see how beautiful uh, the article has done hope you all like this article yeah if you like please comment how uh, the article has done if you are watching this channel for the first time please like share subscribe and comment and press on bell icon to get notification thank you bye bye